We're in a period of time when biology uh, has accelerated its move towards being a quantitative science. It's extremely exciting. I feel this period of time is really special. QB3 is this exciting adventure, a cooperation between the state of California, private industry, venture capitalists, and the UC system. The three refers to the three campuses, UC Berkeley, UCSF, and UC Santa Cruz. Our mission at QB3 is to foster and enable innovative research at the boundaries between the disciplines, particularly applying the physical sciences to problems in biology, health, energy, and the environment. QB3 at Berkeley has brought a number of very talented scientists together from many different disciplines um, that extend the experimental capabilities um, and the intellectual framework that all of us have to work. So it really uh, brings together uh, a collective of great minds and allows them to go beyond what any of them could do individually. In addition to the scientists here at QB3, QB3 at Berkeley runs 10 core research facilities. They span a wide array of sciences. We have genomics, where next-gen sequencing and interpretation of next-gen sequencing, bioengineering and nanofabrication, structural biology such as NMR and mass spec, proteomics, and as new needs come up, we build new core facilities. We really place a big value on training and education here at QB3, where we're training a next generation of scientists that will be fluent in an interdisciplinary sciences that they can take on to whatever career, whether it's academia, industry, or society at large. Towards that end, we sponsor two graduate PhD programs, the Biophysics Graduate Group and the Computational Biology Graduate Group. The Berkeley Biophysics Program is unique in that the interdisciplinary nature of this type of program is embedded in a campus that really promotes uh, collaborative studies. We have a, a, a computational biology graduate program that's fairly new. So the idea was that students um, would have the opportunity um, to be advised uh, by mentors from both the biological and the quantitative sciences during their PhD and would really be able to benefit from the strength of Berkeley in a lot of different disciplines and domains rather than be a kind of boxed into a, a single discipline. QB3 has this culture of breaking down barriers that normally exist between classical fields and it's actively encouraged that you try and do research at the edges of fields because that's kind of where the action is. A key part of our mission here at QB3 is to get the benefits of our science out into the market as quickly and easily as possible. We have a very comprehensive innovation and entrepreneurship program at QB3. In fact, in 2014 alone, we helped over 400 companies and they raised more than $700 million of revenue and funds in the San Francisco Bay Area. CinderBio was founded as a spin-out company from research done at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. And we really started our company in the garage at Berkeley, which is the QB3 incubator here in Stanley Hall. At CinderBio, we make extreme enzymes for industry. We make a class of acid and heat stable enzymes that can do what uh, conventional enzymes can't do. When I ask myself what has QB3 done for us, it's really what has QB3 not done for us. Uh, QB3 has been with us from the beginning. We participated in the Startup in a Box program. They helped us get incorporated, get a corporate bank account, really get moving as a company and really get rolling on our research. We've had a number of successful companies coming out of our incubator garage. A prime example would be uh, the recent excitement and discovery of CRISPR-Cas9, which took place right here in this building by Jennifer Doudna. Our QB3 innovation system allowed them to start the company Caribou. It existed in our garage right here in Stanley Hall, and Caribou is now a thriving company in the Bay Area. 
It's a really exciting time to be part of QB3. Looking back, I think it was really visionary of the state of California and the governor to start something like QB3 and realizing with this small influx and this idea of a community that could have such broad reaching impact for the whole state.